today we do the first interview for the Health Movement Group and with me is Florian Roski, a friend I met one or two years ago. Yes. Uh, I would say one of the most successful entrepreneurs I know. Exactly. And uh, I'm super happy that you're here, <laughs> that you give us some ideas. It's a you, pleasure for me. That you, thank you. Yeah, but um, completely out of my comfort zone because I'm not familiar um, to make interviews in English. So yeah. I do my best because I don't exercise uh, so much to speak English. Yeah, I think one of the best things is uh, if you start hard mm -hmm. because afterwards it becomes easier and easier, right? Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> to make it really hard okay. oh. uh, and to let the people know who you are and what mm -hmm. you do, I give you 30 seconds to wrap up your story. My story? Yeah. Okay, um, my... Uh, both my, my parents are civil servants, mm -hmm. so normally um, uh, there's no place for me here to speak as an entrepreneur because when your parents are more safety orientated and so you don't work as an entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. I did a really a long way to come to this place to work and, and to be an entrepreneur and to be an investor. And I have there my long story and uh, I learn a lot. I educated um, uh, economics, uh, psychology. I study in the UK, oh, it's, uh, it's a shame for me to tell this because my English is not so good. I don't exercise, normally I speak only German. And um, yeah, I built up a lot of companies, over 20. And uh, my, I would say, most famous one is a company for Quarters Exist GmbH. And there we train people how to realize their professional dreams and uh, work as a freelancer, a self-employed person, a businessman. And next to that, I invest in real estates. That are my both topics I do today. And next to that, because I'm yeah, very quick, I uh, would say I'm bored. So always I try new things where I challenge myself. Uh, yeah, I like this interview now. Yeah, okay. And so I like really much these kind of exercises and things. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you nailed it with the 30 seconds. No. Thank you. It's, it's going it's, it's to be fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it, it wrapped it really good as far as what I know about you. And uh, before I made this interview, I also asked the community that you are coming. So maybe they have some ideas for questions. Okay, cool. So we will have some community questions. And I start with, with uh, a question about the topic of the group. Mm -hmm. So... Do you see a connection between the physical health, like, like body, yeah. and uh, the mental health of, of a person? And if so, if you see a connection between these two, do you maintain it in a certain way for yourself? Um, yeah, I can give you a good example. Uh, at the beginning of this year, I have really a, a negative diagnosis because um, my, uh, yeah, according to my first blood check, I thought I had blood cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I got really an impression when you stop to plan for the future. Yeah. Because when you don't feel yourself very comfortable, you feel yourself ill, then you stop to make long plans. Yes. And uh, when you want to be a successful and go your own way, then uh, normally it's not a thing of um, short, I would say, of, of short, -term plan, uh, short term planning. You need a little bit more bigger picture for your life. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, when you have no perspective, um, according to a negative diagnosis, um, then you really um, realize uh, immediately how important it is that your uh, body is in a good health. Yes. So it is, uh, yeah, it is really important. And you realize um, how often you, I would say, sabotage yourself mm -hmm. with maybe negative food because you are stressed. Then you eat things because you have no time or you don't evaluate your time um, accordingly how quickly it changed and you think immediately about i would say the time phase where you don't um, value yourself and your body and i really realized very quickly how important it is to take care of yourself mm -hmm. because you have only one i would say body and yeah. so you are forced to if you want to have a long and nice life To care of yourself because when you stop to do it uh, yeah everything can I would say uh, be terminated very quickly yeah, yeah. So, so you realized how fragile it is exactly and that made a, a mental impact that, exactly. that brought a physical change exactly yeah okay. yeah so 
it's extremely important that you feel yourself with yourself comfortable. So if I may ask, there is no blood cancer, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Everything is nice, but it was really a shock. It is a shock. Yeah, uh, it was more than that. It is a shock. When uh, yeah. maybe you think you have six months, mm -hmm. a lot of things changed in your life. You lose instant your energy. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly in the second you have no energy to, f to move forward because you know there is no perspective. But that's interesting because I think that is uh, one of the things you would really need is the energy in that moment. Right? Exactly. Yeah. But uh, the crazy thing is that you don't have it yeah, because you're so shocked. Your completely system is shocked. Uh -huh. And then you yeah. have to, you know, you're, you have to learn how to, yeah, yeah, how to find a way out of this or how to handle this. Mm -hmm. And it's not so easy because you are not prepared according to the situation. Yeah. And I think okay. it's the same as, for example, Corona. We were not prepared. Mm -hmm. because we ignored it. We thought, no, we live here now since 60 years in a very nice environment and couldn't imagine how quickly it can stop. Mm -hmm. And so it was, I think, the first reaction according to Corona. Shock. Shock. Mm -hmm. uh, be, yeah. And then uh, you have a face of, you don't believe in it. There's the mm -hmm. typical faces you have. First shock, then you don't believe in it, then you got anger. You want to uh, go against this because you cannot believe it. Yeah. And then you uh, start to how to handle it, how to deal with that. And then you have, I try to find a way out of it or how to can, uh, I would say, uh, live with this. Mm. So if you, if you say that the, the reactions you just uh, explained, they, yeah. they are there. Every, yeah. Nearly everybody knows it from something. Yes doesn't have to be as impactful as a coronavirus exactly. or as a cancer. Yeah, and you have it on a small level. When you feel too fat, you stop to go swimming because mm -hmm. you don't like your body. You don't like yourself. Yeah. It's easy oh, because, uh, yeah, you don't feel comfortable. You don't want to be seen. Mm -hmm. So you are smaller. You lose your, I would say, um, um, radiation. Your, mm -hmm. your, your, uh, I would say, um, how you feel yourself, how you're uh, recognized from other ones. Mm -hmm. And so um, you lose a little bit according to your identity when you don't feel well in your body. So it's... it's um, you make your smile smaller. So the physical change has a mental impact. Ex in the, immediately. Yeah, okay. So if we can't prepare for the impacts and yes, for, of for course. the shocks, um, what do you have a method or do you have an idea for yourself how you maintain the relationship between the physical part and the mental part? Yeah, I think it's really important that um, you uh, think really deeply about yourself and uh, try to start to make um, a life design. Mm -hmm. You have to think firstly about who you are, uh, where you want to go, um, how do you want to identify yourself with, with yourself in that your body Who are you? Uh, what are the things that makes you happy? What not? And then you should start um, to make the best out of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because um, when you want to live the best version of yourself, then um, you can start in very in easy steps first to uh, bring yourself to a special kind of health level, to eat maybe better, to take care of yourself. Because when you get stronger, you feel inside yourself more comfortable, you feel mm. yourself healthy, then automatically everything changed around you. Mm -hmm. Other people really see you completely different. So you think it's uh, if you are at the point that you have a desire for a change somehow or to be better prepared. It, yes, it's of course. A, but you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go or you don't know how to find yourself because that is a difficult exactly. question. You could start with building a good system. Of course. Physical, let's say. It's not a lose of time. Impact. Yeah. You don't want to do that makes the things which are basic. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people, you can see after Corona, everybody have maybe five, you are really an exemption, have five or ten kilos more. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you are disorientated, you are, you are looking TV, mm. you don't go out, but it's only an excuse because you can make sports inside when you want on the Good, smallest yeah. area or space is possible to make sports and doing mm. something for yourself, to cook more healthy, to take more time for that. But the crazy thing, we got all fatter. I uh, have problems with that because we don't care of ourselves mm -hmm. and we, we uh, miss a really a version for our own life. We got shocked and that is really you're shocked. You're laying there around and uh, you don't take care of yourself. And um, normally it's a completely opposite thing you have to do. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you feel you you need to use the time for um, mentally or intellectual further education. Use the time for your body. Use it because it is as well as uh, a present, mm-hmm. and you can use it to think about yourself. And with that, you can improve your health level, improve your level of mentality, you know. And and with that, of course, you can fight really easier against something then small like an like a flu, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't touch you. But when you don't, when you feel very uncomfortable, you are not too fat. You don't uh, do something for your system. Then of course, you can be easier attacked mm-hmm. because you know a strong system is just difficult to attack. It's like a company when you have a company with a lot of problems, with pre with personal problems, with with process problems, and then a, a small wind is coming. Then the the system is very easy, is uh, breaks down. Mm-hmm. But when it's very strong, then uh, something like uh, I would say a lockdown for one or two months is, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not really a problem for yourself. So it is. It is about to build it up before. But this is uh, to be prepared. This is a nice thing uh, because it leads me to one of the community questions Mm -hmm. and we we, maybe we come back to the rest then. Um, So what we figured uh, is that the most of us, the most of the people, they need some kind of bigger push. They need some kind of uh, worst case scenario in their life to realize, damn it, I want to change something or I want to do something. So... um, Two questions for that. Yeah. One, if, if you thought about it before, what do you think is the course for that? That we always have to have a heavy push to do it. And uh, let's say the other direction, if you want to start something today without a heavy push, without a, I don't know, somebody died in the family, you get terrible ill or your business is Understand blown that. away, right? Yeah, I think... What else uh, could you do? Yeah, I think there are two different kinds of basic motivations. You have pull and push motivations. Mm-hmm. The one is, is the direction that you want to flee from something, what you don't like. Yeah. That is one kind of motivation. Mm-hmm. For example, when you work in a company and your, ba- your boss is really an asshole, mm-hmm. then you want to go, you fire your boss, uh, because mm-hmm. you want to flee from the situation, you want to find yourself a better life. Yeah. And uh, when uh, you know uh, your boss is always unfriendly, and and you have really a negative working environment, and every day you think about I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. I want to flee out of the situation, and that is a powerful motivation. Mm-hmm. And the second motivation is when you have an objective. Mm-hmm. When you think, okay, when I stay now here, uh, then that would be my life forever. Yeah. And I want something better, maybe for my family and myself. That mm-hmm. can be another kind of positive motivation. But normally both motivations are strong enough for a change. Okay. But uh, today, um, personally, I have the impression that um, a lot of people stop to dream their own lives. Mm-hmm. We are too often manipulated from uh, the, I would say, from the public press, we are so influenced from so we have so many impressions that I would say according to this reign of different kind of impressions we lose ourselves. Mm-hmm. We stop to find our own identity, and for that is for example very important as well as to make a media diet yeah. to stop all these impressions because when we don't stop we stop to feel ourselves. Because mm-hmm. when you have always information, it is a um, kind of information overload. Yeah. And so you are always in a mental rush that you really stop to think. So you are, you are constantly distracted by yourself from something like the media. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From everything. And, and uh, you make it by your own. Yeah, you're, mm. you're elected freely uh, to go under this kind of data shower yeah. with thousands of information. But our brain is only possible to take really a small portion. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's clear when you fill all the information from the world through uh, yeah, a hole, <laughs> I would say a small hole, yeah. then you got in trouble. It's too much. Yeah. And yeah, and a lot of these information are only bullshit and have only the job to really, um, I would say, um, to soften our brains. Mm-hmm. That is not that you are clear. No, the more information you have, normally the more you lose yourself. Yeah, so you go because into you the don't fog. know what to do. You don't want to make mistakes. Yeah. 
you're afraid of making mistakes and so information so many information yeah. and then you don't see the wood because of a lot of trees you know because mm -hmm. so many whoa, and you don't know what to do mm -hmm. and so it's really important that you try to come back to yourself to think about your life what do you want from your life uh, what uh, is, is the idea of your life how do you want to live and then you have to make a plan for yourself how do I get that what I want to mm -hmm. and of course you can only change something when you are mentally strong mm -hmm. when you are healthy when you have a certain kind of energy level because when you are physical and mentally dead because of too many different kind of weak foods foods and too many information then you, you lose yourself mm -hmm. and you are in uh, something not neutral thing but uh, you lose your identity and and that is i would say um the biggest problem of today mm -hmm. um that um that we have too much of everything and because of that is difficult to find the way um, to find your own way it's like mm -hmm. when you have maybe thousand kind of arts of or sorts of bread then you don't know which one have to take now and you are so i would say um yeah you, have, you need so many time then to find the right bread that you don't think about it hey do i want to eat a bread now or not yeah. it's healthy for my body or not because yeah. it's it's too much yeah too much and information yeah it's yeah. too much from everything and so i would say diet from everything mm -hmm. come back what do you want to want what do you want from your life how do you want to live um what your own expectation and then uh, find uh, and when you find then your new objective your your dream of of having a nice life then find the motivation in this idea to get the energy to go your way and then normally when you find your thing you are healthy automatically because you feel comfortable with the yeah, thing yeah then the life is not thing. a pain anymore yeah, yeah? it's like uh, and, yeah. and and then uh, everything goes so easy you're in a flow mode and you don't know why you have now so much energy, but the answer is easy. You make your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not the thing other people expect from you. Yeah, that or gives that you energy, yeah. Yes, or that you want to I would fulfill expectation from everybody, but uh, according to all these expectations, you lose yourself. And mm -hmm. so it's very important to really to think about yourself and then make maybe an information diet that is, uh, everything is a little bit more calm in your head. And not so many little voices that want to tell you something. No, find your own big voice. Be your own big voice. Find mm -hmm. yourself and and your identification with yourself. And then you are immediately strong and have the energy to go to should go your way. That is, um, I think that is a really good point because uh, one of the other questions you you answered now it was like. Uh, How I'm to, sorry for my English uh, because I really totally, totally have the fine. feeling that I really have to search for the words because yeah, I think it's it's really it, fine. Yeah. Okay, and if, <laughs> it's, if it's too quick, you can play it slower, so uh, <laughs> we don't mind or watch it again. It's, uh, it's because really, it comes out of me. It's my yeah. it's my kind of thinking. Let it flow. Yeah, it's okay. perfect. I think Thank you. it's good. And I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the question was how to handle the the fear of failure and the fear of the judgment from the surrounding and the environment and. Um, how to become more confident in your decisions and not only say yes I made the right decision also live with the feeling that this is the right decision even if I make a mistake for me it's a learning then and I think what you just described yeah. was finding back to yourself reduce the influence from the outside become more clear let's yeah. say you go into make your, a healthy make your energy calm. Yeah. make your health calm yeah. and then you are not so they're not so irritational than influences yeah. so if something comes it's okay I see that you judge me but I am calm I'm good with my decision I can continue right yeah I think uh, the most important thing is to find out what is important for yourself mm -hmm. because then it's very difficult to influence you because mm -hmm. when you have a clear objective you know i want to go over the street in this direction mm -hmm. then nobody you know can stress me and can bring me from the way mm -hmm. somebody can talk with me and i can decide no no time for talking or you say okay i talk with you but then it's my decision to slower my way and that can be okay as well because mm -hmm. maybe this information can help me mm -hmm. can give me a new perspective can say okay you can maybe fly over the street and you're quicker there it's maybe, not so yeah. bad yeah, yeah. so uh, you can take the information or not but when you have your objective you know what's important for yourself and in this second when you know what's important for yourself then you cannot be irritated because how 
yeah. uh, because it can tell you, can tell you, but yeah, I want to go there. You can tell you, okay, but I want to go there. Mm -hmm. It can tell you and it can decide, no, shut up. I go now I and then you are strong an yeah. and then you are strong and your other people realize you as very powerful mm -hmm. because it is easy when you have a, a really a focus point, then the life is really easier. Yeah. But when you have no focus point and you don't know what is important for yourself and for your life, you cannot make a good decision. Because when you don't know what's important, then everything can be important. Everything can so be the right decision. So you don't decision, know, yeah. oh, God, oh God, I have to listen now there, maybe it's important. Yeah. And you have to listen there, but because you don't know what's important. Yeah. And when you don't know what's important, then everybody can stress you, bring you away from your way. No, you don't have your way. That is the thing, yeah. You don't have your way. And when you don't have a way, then you cannot make a good decision. Because it only yeah, by accident, yeah. it's like when you're sailing, when you don't know the place um, to which you want to sail, then you never have good winds. Because mm -hmm. what this means? Because when you don't know in which direction you want to sail, it's only by accident to come yeah. maybe more to your core, but not by your own decision. Mm -hmm. And then you're uh, like a boat with thousand directions of winds, but you don't know what to do. And then you come to this typical situation where a lot of people are in. And I think today the educational landscape, mm -hmm. especially in Germany, don't support to find your thing. Mm -hmm. Because they try to press only, I would say, one thing in, in, in square holes, pam, pam, pam. Yeah. But it don't help to find out where you are. Mm -hmm. where, what are your talents? What are ta other words for talents, what are the things you really love? Mm -hmm. And because it, it's, it stopped to help you. No, it, it got the basic education is from everybody the same. So they make out of everybody the same. Yeah. But we are not the same. And then you would have to have the ability to create yourself. And but after you didn't learn it. Exactly. So. And after the school, you have to heal what was damaged. Mm -hmm. Because after that, you are not. When you are a child, you want you really know what you love. Yeah, you. And you're fun. You are you are you're poor. Yeah. yeah. But then the education system damaged you mm -hmm. according to their different kinds of education and, and expectations. But it's not you. Mm -hmm. It is what the society wants from you. And yeah. after the end, you have maybe, mm -hmm. I would say, a destroyed child. And you are a child, maybe you're 20 or 26, you're a child. And because you have never ever have time to think about yourself, mm -hmm. because you have to learn stuff other people expected from you. Mm -hmm. And you have to make your, your performance performance according to the system, but it had nothing to do with you. So it breaks the individual development a little bit. Yeah, make yeah. out of everything the same. It's a little mm. bit the socialism system. Everybody got the same. It's yeah. the same, but it doesn't mean that you respect people. Yeah. It makes only you make out of everything the same. And that had nothing to do with respect. Uh, it's had only to do with make everything the same because it's easy. Yeah, but it's it is easy for, for the system, it's easy for the system but it's not yeah. easy for you because after that you have really a, a difficult life mm -hmm. because you have then to, to peel uh, all the things down like an onion to find again, oh, what was that? I cannot mm -hmm. remember what yeah, I love as cool. a child. What was the but when you love? find it then, then you are the back, the old happy child and then you know what you're to do and it's really difficult to bring you out of the sandbox because you love to build yeah. your castle in the sandbox and then it doesn't matter how many hours you work and because you don't want to go out of the sandbox because you love it you love because you it do, was yeah. always your thing but you forget it you forgot it because of the system and that is uh, again the perfect um a forwarding to the next question but first <laughs> i'm gonna check the cameras okay you bring me really tough out of my comfort zone it's perfect i have to discuss about psychology uh, topics in a uh, foreign language it's like a new language speaking about business would be more comfortable for myself yeah um <laughs> there's a question okay business related oh this better yeah Phew, now i come back to my comfort zone but before i give you that question oh yes yeah, it's, it's very nice <laughs> <laughs> we go that's not nice we, we go back to the I think we have, it's really interesting. There was one user of the group and she sent two questions and both are for your different businesses. Okay. So the one is, um, when it comes to entrepreneur yeah. work, what is better? She, she wrote yeah. better. So we take better education or experience. And if you, if you think about that it and you put it into, into a few sentences, exactly. That is yeah. exact, this is absolutely, uh, it, it, 
I would say it uh, experience is the best thing on the world. Mm -hmm. uh, think about it. You want to work as an artist mm -hmm. or as a painter. And you go to a school, you go through it, you have at the end your examination, mm -hmm. but you cannot paint. It's okay. easy in our system because you can hack at every education system. Mm -hmm. You make only what they want to and at the end you pass. Yeah. Maybe on this, I would say when you are a little bit better, you have better marks, but in general, when you are working hard on it, then you pass. But at the end you cannot, I would say you cannot paint. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, when you never ever visit this university and can paint at the end, yeah. you get everything what you want to, when you really can paint. And okay. so uh, at the end, it doesn't matter what kind of education you have. What really matters is what you can, mm -hmm. and if you do the things you love. Because when you cannot paint, originally you, you don't love it. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy. The, the topics in school, you are the best, what, you, what what's belongs to you. What you mm -hmm. really like, normally mm -hmm. there as well as you have the better marks. Yeah. Because when you have no talents like, like me for languages, you have to work so hard for it. Mm -hmm. And never, ever, ever you get really good. Yeah. But the things what I like in school like that, no problem. Yeah. I don't have to prepare it because it comes out of me. So the edu education in school or in general, let's say the educational part comes out of your love for a certain topic, but you have to, um, let's say, practice your love. You have to really do it to get the experience to become good at it. Yeah, um, I would say education is not bad um, to get the basics. Yeah. For example, to learn how to write, mm -hmm. to read, yeah. mathematics, basically. Yeah, communication. And that's helpful. Yeah, yeah really helpful. Yeah. But you find your way. I think school is really a waste of time, yeah. especially like the school today. Yeah. So the experience is the thing that of course. is better for the entrepreneur. Book. Yeah, in general, the things what you make next to your school brings you to the point, but not the school. Mm -hmm. okay. Because you try things. You start things. Uh, maybe you're interested in that and that, and next to your school, in university time or so, a study program, you have a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, ask yourself how do you come to your job to make educational courses. Yeah. It's because you like to make, uh, maybe you do work with software programs or to make photos, yeah. and you're interested in it. Was there something out of the, what you learn in the university really by heart, or do you learn it afterwards? What, the photography? Yeah, for example. Uh, I learned it way before I went to any school. I okay. started with 14 or 15. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and it comes out of a passion. And yeah. never, ever, ever would be something so good like you are mm -hmm. when you explain things because you're a perfectionist, you like photography, and people with much really to learn, as well as on a functional base, how to make a perfect picture, and after that to process a picture, mm -hmm. then you are the guy. Mm -hmm. Stop. And it is really difficult for me, for example, to repeat it because I've no, and I'm not really interested in making photos yeah. and I'm not interested in really in the software program. Mm -hmm. So I can, I, I can understand the program, yeah. but never ever I've got this kind of deep feeling or relation to the things that I can make it on your level. So you can educate yourself, but of course. you have not enough love to make the Of course, not. to make it really nice, to make it, really to make it at the end bring these results. Yeah. So to, I think to, to enter that question yeah. is that you need the, the experience to live the love. So that is exactly. The love makes yeah, because you the school doesn't the help you. Yeah. It doesn't help you to find your thing. How? Mm -hmm. Because everything is standardized. Yeah. You have to make this topic, so that's your range. Yeah. And at the end, the result is okay, you have to study medicine. Because the system brings, that's the result of the system, but not, it's not from you. It's not your love. Yeah, yeah it's not your love. Because the other question of the same uh, user, Uh, I think also it's for her because she has a she little... She questioned a lot of things. <laughs> no, no, uh, <laughs> that is the second question for okay. her, so it's okay. the other oh, were, okay. were other people. Um, it's, uh, I think she's also into the field of real estate, or uh, interested okay. at least. And the question was since uh, the field, field or field? Field or field? The field, right? The field? Yeah. The field of real estate can be super demanding in time and energy. How do you personally, as Florian, relax and take time off, especially with your portfolio? Do you know the number of flats you have at the moment? Or? I know, yeah, yeah, but I don't want to say it. Okay. It's fine. Um, but the, the, the answer is very easy. As a child, I love to play with Lego. Mm -hmm. And that is my thing. Okay. And it flows out of me. 
I go in an apartment and it doesn't matter in what kind of circumstance it is. I go in and I know what to do immediately. Okay. I have a feeling, I have a relation, I think about it. I have a good, I would say, my, my mind is really, my, my, I would say my mind is very good for visualization. Mm -hmm. And according to statistics, 80% of the people, when they enter an apartment, they have not the possibility to understand and to see it's the end result. Okay. Because it overburden a lot of people. They have not this kind of talent. So the, so the imagination. The imagination is what there. is possible with, yeah. for example, this kind of flat. Yeah. And I go in and no, no, or yes. And okay. I need for that three seconds or four. It's really something crazy. I go in, run through the rooms and say, I buy it. And okay. uh, that is a kind of, of even imagination thing I learned in a start as a child. Yeah. And uh, because of that, it doesn't stress me because I love it. Okay. It's really, I make it really, I love it. Okay. I have really fun with it. I go inside and I cannot stop. Mm -hmm. It starts automatically what is possible here. Okay. For example, this year I make a course at a home stager mm -hmm. because at the beginning I thought, okay, it's nice to be maybe in an architect for interior. Yeah. And I think, okay, no, it's, 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 too, it's too much. I don't need all the theoretical stuff. Mm -hmm. I make only the thing I really need. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, I was at this course staying there and uh, I don't have to prepare something. I see everything, everything was so logic, I don't have to prepare for the examination at the end yeah. because it was my, my thing. Yeah, it was okay. only easy. So it was so easy mm -hmm. because it, it was so easy that I cannot explain how easy it was because it was mine. <laughs> yeah, it's your thing. You know, because I, I, I was, it was my love since I began to play with Lego. Mm. So and is it, and, is it uh, you know, sorry and, for, yeah. for stopping no, you no, there? No, no. Um, so for so me, real estate so is easy to organize yeah. it, it's easy that is to make a system out of it. For real estate, easy. it's easy. Do yeah. you have in your... Languages? Oh, no, <laughs> okay, languages <laughs> we know already. Okay. But, but you don't have to relax from languages because it's not like that you are... In your everyday business, you are permanently confronted with the stress out of languages. So it's, it's a thing that now we do it in English, so that is a little bit higher stress, but maybe the next three days you don't have that issue at all, right? But if you if you go for work or if you have a, you choose real estate as an investment asset, and it gives you stress. Do you have an idea? No. no. Okay. Then. Also, fine. when you make what you like, yeah. How can that be stress? Exactly. When you make what you like, but of course, when you make what the things you don't like, yeah. then it's stress. And do you have a relax uh, method for that for the tasks you don't like? For the tasks I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, the tasks I don't like, I try to outsource. Okay. Because it makes no sense. Because I need ten times more than everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I when I when I really when I work when I learn new languages, I try to learn Spanish only to I would say uh, to discipline myself and, and yeah. to bring me back to the ground and see how stupid I am in this area. It helps me really a lot to to stay calm and, and, and to find a way how to deal with that. As mm -hmm. well as for example, I have problem with taking big big risks. Big okay. risks are for me thing where, things where I can lose a lot of money. Yeah. And um, that stressed me a lot when I, I'm out of my comfort zone and I start now to play poker yeah. to uh, get better in scenario analysis ah, okay. and to improve myself because poker is the opposite what, uh, from that what I like. And it's really so difficult for me to invest in cards and in situations I cannot predict Mm -hmm. It was really tough for me because originally I'm very a person, I would say I, I don't like big risks and I like, I prefer to, that I'm in the position to calculate risks in a way that at the end for me there's no risk. Then I feel myself okay. very comfortable. So it is what you did uh, is basically you, you have a problem with, with high risks and instead of starting to take the high risk in your niche, yeah. you found another thing where exactly. you have high risk and you can start handling them exactly. without the yeah, to learn scenario analysis, yeah. Yeah, game theory, yeah. all the things, there's such a lot of things in it. Really uh, so, yeah. yeah, and it really stressed me sometimes a lot and I make really big mistakes and I'm shocked for myself. I, it's really for me broader work. 
Yeah, but it learns. But it, it learns, learns to teach me yeah. and I start to have fun with that. Yeah. And it's crazy. Um, and so I try to develop myself further to come to a next level. But normally I do it in a simulation field where, uh, mm -hmm. I, can, where I, I don't have to pay so much for that. You know, it's, uh, I find a play, a, a, yeah. a play field, a playing field where I can exercise and find out and find ways of doing it. When you want to maybe invest in real estate, then I would start to read a lot of books about real estate. Mm -hmm. Then I would play Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Then I would play maybe Cash Game from Robert Kiyosaki. Cash flow, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Then you can learn. Yeah. So, and then I feel myself then comfortable and I can reduce the risk because I, I've got on a game level uh, I, I knocked out a lot of time and learned how to lose and yeah. I, what, what kind of mistakes I should, uh, don't should do, then um, yeah, after that I'm, I'm prepared for the real world and then I'm starting and then I'm doing my job there. And then it so works. normally I find, I try to find for myself playing fields. That is, uh, I think that's a good idea yeah. to, to be more free of the stress. If, exactly. If something could to be stressed you. on a, like when you maybe have um, an allergy, the normal you get a small dose of that. Yeah. Uh, in a, I learned it out of this area for myself. Yeah. And um, when you make it over a long time, then uh, it stops the allergies or maybe uh, that they can attack you. Yeah. And that is the same sign of thing. Give yourself a small dose where you can handle it, so that you don't come in this deep stress level. And then you become And then you get, yeah, yeah it's your yeah. system gets stronger and stronger and nice. stronger. And after a while, you are completely immune again, this kind of shocks and you do your way and you are completely relaxed and you think, what is the problem? Because yeah. you, you learn how to handle this. You are used to it more. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Stupid it is to make things you are stressed you never did before and then you have a big level of stress, really mm -hmm. negative stress and that could make you ill. Luckily, the interview is a positive thing and the stress we have is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. good for <laughs> And uh, I have one more question. Okay. And uh, I stole it from another interview a series I've seen on YouTube. Totally different topic. Okay, okay. Oh, dinner party. Okay. Right? Six shares, one for you, one for me, and you can invite four people, mm -hmm. dead or alive. Who do you gonna invite? Who do you gonna put on your dinner table? I would, uh, I'm honest, I really prefer the one to one situation because I don't like to be in big messes. Mm -hmm because then it stressed me because I try to be empathic yeah. and to step in the shoes of my interlocutor but then I have to step in, step in, step in the whole time because and so at the evening I'm completely dead. Mm -hmm. it really, then I'm, I'm really tired after that because I'm not used to it to uh, talk only on a surface. I have nothing mm -hmm. to say in a small talk, I'm honest, yeah. because it is not my way. I really love to be together with one or two person, maybe three, yeah. but more than that, it's difficult for myself, for my personality, yeah. because uh, okay, it's let's, not the survival let, I like. Let's make but when I said you would take one, to, uh, uh, one person extra, yeah. then in advance, uh, I would think about it, what could be a present for you and for me. No, let's say I'm, I'm not there. I'm sitting there, okay. I'm listening, but I'm not relevant. Okay. And share number four we put to your wife, so you have only three shares to fill. Okay. So I will not run, let you run away with that question. Okay, I understand. Yeah, because it is really artificial for myself because... Let's it's say it's whoever you want to talk to. To whoever you want to talk to. Okay, then I, I would say... Uh, on one chair, I would take the, the Poker World Pro mm -hmm. Good. Um, because I want to know how he handled this kind of life yeah. uh, to live only in hotels and completely free and don't know how much you earn the next day, you know, it is a big insecurity level and yeah. I would be curious how he earned this kind of mess with poker playing, yeah. which is uh, to a different, special kind of position a uh, um, lucky game, uh, mm -hmm. that will be very interesting in that. Um, I have a name there in my head that I would invite. Um, the second one, I think I would, love, I would love to meet Mr. Trump because I would be curious if it is, uh, if he play a game with the mm -hmm. whole world yeah. or if he's really crazy and don't believe it. 
Mm. I think uh, he makes a, there was a Truman idea for um, a Truman concept of being mad, and when you are a mad guy, nobody can calculate. Yeah. And then uh, the only one who can make strategies is Mr. Trump, but the rest of the world is really uh, have no chance Insecure. to make. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so I would really curious to meet this guy and, and, really and to have uh, an honest situation. Uh, I, I don't want him as a president. Mm -hmm. I want him as a business guy or a private. I would say business guy because I think he's not a private guy. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think he's not a one. It's only my impression that uh, love uh, to have or they love to live his private situations. I think he really loved to be a businessman. Mm -hmm. He's a deal maker, we call him. Yeah. Yeah? And so um, I would say I'm really interesting to meet him. And as a third one, I would take just Justus, you, because uh, I would say it is a, a pity when I only get all this cool information <laughs> and you not. <laughs> okay. So I would uh, then uh, share all these kind of impression with, with you because I think it can really change the perspective what we have about the world. Yeah. And I think you are a perfectionist, so to deal with risk is for you, I think, not so easy as well. Mm -hmm. as. And so I think we can learn both, a lot of that. And I could learn a lot because if I'm sitting there, spectating, and I'm sitting there being involved, I could even spectate myself, how I behave in that world. Yeah, yeah it's not so easy. Interesting. Yeah, one. so yeah. I think, uh, yeah, that would be, a, I would say, a, a good, uh, yeah, a good talking situation. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. good evening. Of course. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you. I thank you yeah. for, for the time and uh, I hope that uh, we will um, be able to understand everything when we watch the video, right? <laughs> I, will, I will put it and I will link you. And uh, the last thing is, um, do you have some kind of channel or contact where the people could reach you? Because you are not like that super active on Facebook, right? No, I'm not so super so, active on Facebook. Yeah. So um, that would be nice. And that I oh, uh, yes, I have... Um, YouTube channel, mm -hmm. but uh, only in German, so I'm sorry for that, yeah. uh, because my comfort zone, and uh, yeah, and invested, I would say, primarily in Germany, yeah. sometimes in other parts of the world, but uh, in general, I invest in Germany, and when uh, your, I would say, viewers are interested to learn more about real estate, or more about uh, being an entrepreneur, then I have two channels, one is uh, Feuerlein Boss, mm -hmm. Unternehmer. Mm -hmm. And the second one is um, das einmal eins in Bielen. Mm -hmm. That is a poop the both uh, YouTube channel. To a YouTube channel, I uh, I would say uh, try to uh, master, and and I really like it to give the information uh, free of charge further, yeah. because I think it can uh, influence the life of other people to make them more so stronger, more independent, and learn about or from my own mistakes, mm -hmm. because I'm very open with that. Yeah, that's yeah. a necessary skill. Yeah, cool. Thank okay. you, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, I will link everything and then you can get in contact with Florian. And yeah, be excited for the next interview. And if you have questions for the next interview, I will make a live before we do it. And then you can send in your questions and then we can answer them, hopefully. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, good.